Just a pilot in his cockpit seated Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So here we are with my super dirty scat pack. Um, let me show you. So I had to leave it parked outside and this tree somehow, I guess it's like a, I don't know, it, it's never been this bad, but either the tree combined with birds or whatever. This all happened within like part of one day while the car was outside. So like this was like a single event practically. And look at this, like this thing is like trash. I mean, it wasn't clean before that. Last time I made a video on the foam washing and it was a complete shit show, um, for lack of better words. And um, so this time we're gonna do it correctly. I did read the comments and I got a lot of feedback. One of the first best feedback was don't use these high pressure nozzles on my car. Luckily I didn't use those on my car. I used them on my wife's car, which is now gone. So. Um, and it didn't mess anything up, but um, I learned my lesson. So no high pressure on cars or you will potentially damage them. So from what I understand, this is the car nozzle you're supposed to use. And uh, apparently the way you're supposed to address the foam is the foam. What I tried to do is like a touchless. And I guess that that's terrible. Um, what I tried to do prior was a touchless because that's how I thought you were supposed to use the foam. I mean, doesn't that make more sense? Um, if you're using the foam, you might as well, I don't know. I just don't see the point of the foam gun if you actually are scrubbing the car anyway, but I guess it does get a better saturation of soap around the car and probably in the nooks and crannies and stuff like that. So I, I do see the point of it, but yeah, it seems like a lot of work, but we'll check it out. I'm going to give this car a nice foam bath with actual scrubbing and we'll see how it comes out. We're gonna start by just rinsing the car with this black tip. Really? Okay, everybody told me to use the black tip. So everybody told me to use the black tip and that's what I got on there. But check it out, it's like got almost no pressure. This is using my Stanley pressure washer. It's uh, whatever. 250 PSI, it's, it's okay, I guess. But, like... So clearly, it's, it's barely enough to, um, like, even rinse the soft stuff off. But I'll rinse the entire car, then I will uh, foam it, then rinse it again, and see how much the foam gets this off without any manual manipulation before I get to scrubbing, because that ain't good. So, let's get this going. Okay, so before we start the foam, I'm going to show you that it is still very dirty. I mean, I, I, I blasted it as much as I could, but again, just the pressure doesn't work unless you use one of those high pressure ones and I'm not allowed to do that, get yelled at. So yeah, maybe this was me, but it's, it looks better. I mean, it looks rinsed off. Most of the bigger particles are gone. 
but clearly there's a lot of spots that just won't there's not enough pressure to take off so let's break out the foam and for that I'll put a link to this from the other video. This is the same stuff, all the same stuff I used in the other video. This time, instead of using straight soap, um, I mixed it with about 50-50 water because that's what everybody was saying. They were saying that the soap was too thick by itself and that seemed reasonable. So it's about 50-50 now and we'll see if it works a little bit better. Okay, so we see I got my foam cannon gun, whatever it is, hooked up. Okay, need some adjustments. You can do this. Oh yeah, they were eating. Oh look at that, that is beautiful. Been foaming for a while, I'm gonna try to see if I can get more foam or just to get it to stay longer. Yeah. I think this is a proper foaming, foaming, so I'm gonna let this chill here for a couple minutes. Might foam the front up a little bit more. It's bleeding off, but the front isn't the worst part, but it's pretty foamy. And I've been foaming for a really long time. I want to want this foam to have maximum potential. Hopefully I'm doing everything right. I did read the comments. Always do. But you can already see some of this isn't coming off, but again, it hasn't had a chance to, to do much. Switching to black tip. Black tip engaged. Time to rinse. All right, we'll start on the other side since we just soaked this side. Let's get to rinsing. Okay, now that I've given her a thorough rinsing, I got some observations to make on the whole foam bath thing. After the foam, m most of the, the particulate did just rinse off. The car does look much, much cleaner. Clearly, there's dirt that just rinsing won't get. Like you can just see some of it that it just needs just minor touching. But I see the point that most of the particulate that would cause you to scratch the car's surface as you wash it is gone. And I think that is the main point from what I understand. It's a little bit of um, delamination of the windshield. Good dodge. Anyway, so most of the big particulate is gone. Um, and most of this stuff, like, let me just show you, just really light with my finger and you see it's gone. So it just needs, it, it did, I, I see where now when I wash it, it's going to be way easier. And it's going to be lay, way less likely to damage the paint or anything. But with that being said, is it really worth it? How much damage does actually occur to the paint if you just rinse it really well, then wash it versus going through this complex process? I don't know, but this took a decent amount of time and I think you have to be someone who really cares about protecting their car's finish. I don't know. I mean, it, yeah, I see the, I see the allure of the foam bath pre-wash. It, it does, it does do an okay job. It's the car is still dirty, but like the, the, the particulate is mostly gone. So, all right, I'll give it a foam again, then I'll scrub it down and give a final verdict.
unfortunately even though this stayed up at 136 miles an hour it was no match for me busting into it with the uh, with the scrubber thingy so this is gone I gotta take these little pieces off that sucks I'll leave it there It'll stay on all right so I, I got to admit that the car is pretty clean. There's there's definitely some spots that I I could have done better. So after that very long wash job, I have to say that the foam wash is, I don't want to say it's a waste of time, but I think you have to fit a fairly narrow criteria of someone who really, really doesn't want to damage their paint and has time and effort and is willing to do, go through all that effort. I've washed cars a lot of times. I gotta say that was one of the most painful washes I've ever done. Now I'm sure I did everything wrong. I'm sure I did everything wrong in the wash. Like I, I'm sure I, uh, you know, I did, I did wrong stuff. I, I, I could have made it easier. I didn't use a bucket, so I had to rinse off my little thing each time. But it was way too much effort. The car does look cleaner than it typically does, but man, that's a lot of effort. Like, is it is it worth it? I don't know. I guess to each his own. But I don't know. I mean, that that's a that's a lot. I mean, foaming and the rinsing and, the, and it's just it's just I don't know. It's a big process. Maybe maybe I, I I'm doing it inefficient, but it, it took me like an hour and. Yeah, it wasn't very fun, and I, I don't really feel the results justify the time. Um, yeah, I don't really feel like paint gets as messed up as everybody acts like it does, but, you know, that's me. I take this through a normal car wash, and I've taken every car I've ever owned through a normal car wash. So, who knows? So I'm going to spin this around a little bit just to dry it off, because I was too lazy. Just cruising along with my adaptive cruise control on. Which has nothing on the Tesla's autopilot. But it still does work. It keeps the lane for you, or it just keeps your distance from the car in front of you. Which is something you cannot do in a Hellcat. You can't get this option in a Hellcat. The, no radar. No front forward collision. No front adaptive cruise control why is that that's lame i got it in my sket though and i got a thousand horsepower what now the speed limit is 55 miles per hour This car is brutally fast, which is fun, but it looks pretty dry, so I'm going to head home now and we'll see how the car looks, air dry. So I gotta say, I mean, look at it. It looks very, very clean. I mean, I haven't seen this car this clean in a while. Definitely cleaner than it gets at a, a car wash. But 
was it worth it? And I just have to say no. It just was a lot of work. It just doesn't seem worth it. So I think it's one of those things where it's kind of like to each his own. Some people really enjoy cleaning their cars and, and having it clean and having their paint finish flawless. And some people enjoy just having the car semi-clean and don't really care if the paint is flawless. And that's me, I guess. Car looks really good though. Very clean. Gonna be it for now. Got a clean car. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.